What's up, Pachero fam? For this video, we're gonna see pretty lights at the Dillon Amphitheater. Oh, hi, Mac. So we're driving from Denver to Dillon right now, stuck in this crazy traffic. So, yeah, people are already lined up at the Dillon Amphitheater. It's only like 120, so hopefully we get there in time. I mean, I think it should clear up soon. I guess they're doing like blasting or some type of construction on the 70. <laughs> Just got to Dillon, that was the only traffic we hit, and it's pretty nice out so far, so let's hit it. Yeah. Heading to the amphitheater now. Be there soon. No. Okay, we're getting there. We're coming for you, Derek Vincent Smith. You know it. Let's go. Let's go. Officially in line now. We have about like a couple hour wait. They do have free water here, which is so key because especially at this altitude, it's about 9,000 feet above elevation. Drinking a lot of water and pacing yourself is super important. Just made it in. It's gonna be starting in about a half hour. Now in full rain mode. Um, he hasn't even started yet. This thing is spoiled right up in the creek, these clouds open Art. up to outer space, yo. Hey, one time, everybody in the spot, let's take a deep breath. We gotta move all the way, folks. And now blow it out. Just have to put your hands in the air while you take a deep breath. Come on. And now, yeah. <laughs> Day two. Just woke up. It's officially day two. I'm not gonna lie, I feel pretty good. A big thing, especially not only in Colorado, but specifically I think in Dillon too, the altitude you have to be super careful with in terms of like drinking alcohol, making sure you're properly hydrated and whatnot. It is day two, so let's kick it off. Yeah. <laughs> Do coffee dumplings. <laughs> Thank you. 
So last night we were up front, which is like a really cool view, obviously, because you're up front. But being, I think, further back, especially at Dillon, is way more beautiful because it's view. So incredible. It's going to be a whole different experience. Officially day three of Pretty Lights. Took a nice shower and shaved. Feel like a whole new person. Last night was insane. What another insane set. And in addition, I DJ'd our after party. I woke up feeling really good today, to be honest. Kind of thinks it's been so cloudy the past few days. Gotta say the views in Colorado towns are just on another level, being honest. Like all the mountain ranges around here and everything. So what's interesting now about Pretty Lights for day three is I actually don't have a ticket. I bought a three-day pass for Dylan. However, I traded my day three of Dylan for day three of Mission Ballroom, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm really glad I did because it's kind of cool to experience Pretty Lights at the Mission Ballroom. And then of course, the past couple of nights at Dylan were amazing. So for tonight, I'm trying to figure out if I can say I wanna still go to the venue and maybe just find a cool little spot on the hill recess back from it and just chill and watch the set from afar or even live stream it at the Airbnb and just relax. So either way, it's gonna be a great night. Just chill with some of my friends in line. The doors just opened, so people are going in now. So I think at this point, I might just kind of find a good spot somewhere around here and uh, see how it goes. I gotta be honest, what an insane three days that was. I mean, I'm super exhausted as you can tell. And another thing I will say, unfortunately, I could not feature any of Pretty Lights' music or any of the actual sound from the concert, just given YouTube copyright. However, they're all free to watch on Twitch. Pretty Lights is my favorite artist, honestly. Like, obviously I'm into a lot of his styles of music. And that's why I love him so much in terms of the unique fusion of hip hop, jazz, soul, funk, he even dropped techno bangers. He did some tech house and bass house stuff. Um, of course, all the electronic analog synthesis. I mean, just the amount of intersecting genres. There was even a reggae portion. The entire three days were just phenomenal. I mean, I wasn't too sure what to expect because that was also the first time I've ever seen the same artist perform three nights in a row. I've never done like a three night run for a single artist and every night was just unbelievable. I mean, he's truly changing the game. I feel like any single time he creates something new or whatever, it always pushes music forward, super innovative. I feel like it just changes the game in every way. And of course, being at the Airbnb with everybody, you know, going to the after parties, you know, being just in Dillon as well, which was such a beautiful town. And I gotta say too, the Dillon Amphitheater is by far the most beautiful venue I've ever been to. I know this is a very cliche thing to say, but this video did not do it justice of how beautiful that venue was overall huge shout out to derek this comeback tour has already been insane you know seeing him at day three of mission day one and two at dylan amphitheater and then even you know last night on day three was awesome in terms of seeing him on the hill then going back to my airbnb and watching the stream it was a cool to experience the show in numerous different ways the entire pl fam was amazing as well everyone i met was super nice and everything i mean he's back and what a legendary tour already